Happy 2024, gang. <laughs> Peace and blessings. Much love and shout out to all of my YouTube family, my Patreon family. I say this from the heart when I say thank you, thank you, thank you. Especially you all that have been rocking with me since the beginning. Thank you so much for all the love, all the support. You guys continue to support me endlessly. And I just, I can't, a, a million thank yous will not suffice. So with that being said, from my heart to yours, to you all's, thank you so much. And may peace, love, and prosperity be with all of you this 2024. Um, welcome and big shout out to all of those who have just found my channel at the top of the year. You know damn well this ain't a coincidence. So if you want to know more about me, Mama Magical, you can go to my website, MagicalFlowersTarot.com. Or you can feel free to text or call the number at the beginning or end of this video. So y'all listen. Every year, y'all know we do our yearly reading and we do seasonal readings for each new season. I know I'm a little bit behind for the yearly reading, but guess what? Today is January 1st, child. What day, what day, excuse me, is better than to do a yearly new year reading other than the first day of the year? So y'all, we're going to get into this. We're going to get into some things, y'all, okay? So we're going to touch on the normal stuff. Women, children, politics, health, of course, money. I'm going to be pulling from my money bags deck. I'm going to be pulling from my divine gifts and messages deck. So we could just touch on all areas of life, y'all. So with that being said, I've already prayed, asked the ancestors to come down and meet us, our spirit guides, to help us with this divination. And we ask for peace, blessings, and good news, right? So let's get, let's just, y'all know how we do. Let's get into this reading, y'all. We ain't going to, without further ado, let's see. Let's get into this reading, see what the spirits need us to know. Opening up with 2024. I hope we open up with blessings, good news, all those things. Now, before I pull this first card, I, I, it's on my heart, I gotta say it. A good amount of y'all personally text Mama Magical some right at the turn of midnight to tell me personally, Happy New Year. That touched my heart so much, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, y'all. I was very pleasantly surprised. Some of you text my, y'all text my phone personally. Some of my, some of y'all text my personal line. I'm like, what? <laughs> and the Mama Magical line. So thank y'all so, so, so much. I really appreciate that, y'all. Y'all don't know how much that meant to me. Mm. Okay, y'all. So listen, I see these are in the reverse position. We got watching, blessings, and quality time. Spirit is letting us know, first and foremost, some of us have to do some sort of protection work because we have unwanted eyes on us. We need to cleanse ourselves. Watching reverse talks about, you know, stalking, spies, evil eye, all those things. Once again, any unwanted attention this is what spirit is opening up with warnings for us some of these people are even blocking our blessings time to do a social media sweep point blank period just like for the first you know of the year we try to make sure our homes are clean we you you know you're not supposed to go into the new year who do you're not supposed to go into the new year with a dirty cluttered home you're supposed to clear them corners out make sure that you wash the floor all types of things the same way we give ourselves a spiritual bath we do our house like that we have to cleanse our social media point blank period anybody that does not support you anybody that's always negative even just that weird person that you notice that ever since you added them as a friend they ain't never liked your stuff they ain't never commented on, on your stuff and you like what you, what is this person those are agents you have to get rid of them is what spirit is saying because they can block your blessings child sometimes people are blocking our blessings and we don't even know what's happening we don't even know where this energy is coming from so always make sure that you do a friend request sweep friends list sweep on your social media you know how anybody can just follow you on Instagram. You might have to put your shit on private. You know, don't just let anybody put their eyes on you. Anybody looking at your pictures, you post your accomplishments, your blessings, all those things. There's always someone there, unfortunately, that is envious, that want what you have. Or sometimes they don't even want what you have. They just don't want you to have it. 
You know what I'm saying? So make sure that y'all clear all of that out. That's very important. Quality time reverse. Don't get so caught up in yourself that you are neglecting other people because our blessings also come through other people. People feeling loved, connected, and wanted by you also makes them want to bless you and give you opportunities. You know, once again, you don't want anybody feeling bitter or sour about you. We can't always control the way people feel towards us. You know, sometimes people are battling their own issues, but things that you know about yourself that could be tweaked a little bit or modified to make your relationships better. This kind of came up in my my uh, private uh, New Year reading I just did for my Patreon. Do that. Soothe those relationships the best way that you can. Because once again, our community also contributes to our blessings. People that are in our lives in close proximity also contributes to our blessings around us. You know, people can bless you or curse you. So with that being said, give more time to the people who love you because there's so many people in this world that don't love. Love is a beautiful thing. So people that are giving you love, make sure that you reciprocate that. Once again, that also helps to up your own vibration as well. So don't, someone is feeling neglected by us, especially our spiritual worker, you know, us spiritual workers, we can get so caught up in our own world that we forget about the reality that lies around us, that, that we are still, we're spiritual people, but we still have to live in this world. Like I told my uh, Patreon gang before, we have to be able to function in society with other people and get along with our fellow man. So it's very important that you know that that also starts at home. I always say charity starts at home. So love those who love you. Spend time with your family. Spend time with your kids, your spouse, things like that. Some of us have been so busy. So that's just what spirit is warning us about. Just Or just giving us, you know, something to make sure that we kind of pay attention to, right? Mm. Some of us have been having fertility problems. Some of us have been having fertility problems. Now, I'm not saying don't listen to your doctor. Don't see your gynecologist and, you know, things like that. But some of it is spiritual, too. Some of us have been hexed. You know, people have spoken curses towards us. Some of us not, may need to do a spiritual cleanse. Some people, some of us may need to do a womb cleanse. You know, I have prescribed those to people that I prescribed sitz baths, you know, with certain herbs and things like that to those who have been having, you know, issues with fertility or even had, you know, sexual trauma from the past. Some of us need to do this spirit of saying, do that, do the spiritual work. You need to get a reading to make sure you identify and investigate what's going on. And once that's identified, some of us may need to do a cleanse on our bodies in order for us to um, be fruitful in that area as far as producing children spirit is saying manifest now is the perfect time for us to manifest y'all speak your goals speak your visions get clear make sure y'all know this is a number eight year money abundance prosperity all those things but everything in your life has to be in order you need to be organized you need to make sure that your mind body and soul everything is on one accord everything works with one another everything is interconnected start speaking your year i don't care if you just gotta you know get a journal right january through december 2004 for each month have a goal set and watch it happen also don't even just don't have a goal make a plan that's very important energy how does it feel that means a lot of us need to be in tapping into our intuition this year learn how to read the room know that energy never lies people may lie but energy never lies right come through spirit this year this is the confirmation <laughs> this is the confirmation y'all this is spirit giving us confirmation that yes we talking about this year child this year 2024 heed these warnings y'all i'm gonna pull one more they go to confirmation again. Yes, yes, more conf confirmation. Spirit is saying that these are some of the things that can open up our blessings if we just take the advice that's given. And we need to get rid of the toxic as fuck people too. To people that you know are toxic, you need to let it go. Spirit telling me to pull one more just in case. Check in with your family. Quality time, like I just said, it's about the family. Check in with your immediate or distant family. Family, period. Check in with them. That means alleviate the petty shit, no more drama, you know, neutralize it or, or walk away. But whatever, do not engage in it. That's so, so important, y'all. So, do I want to go? Let's go to women, women and children. We're going to start there. What are the, any warnings for the women? 
Then we'll do, I, I ain't forget about my brothers. I got y'all, man. I'm going to do y'all too. I got the man too. <laughs> so if you're a, wim, a woman, pay extra close attention to these messages. Toxic ass relationships. The person that you partner with will be your karma. The person that you partner with, who you link, who you bind yourself with, you will take on their karma. You will take on their energy by way of an energy exchange. Know that whatever you bind yourself to, you are accountable for some of that energy. It's almost like um, guilty by association or being an accessory to something. You know, some people say, well, I'm, I'm, I'm good, but it's just my husband or my boyfriend or my girlfriend. Is she, they're the one that's effed up. No, if you are engaging with this person, if you're having sex with this person, all those things, know that you will carry their karma as well. It's an energetic karmic exchange. I'm telling you, y'all, that is very, very real. Why do you think that sometimes, no matter how hard you try, no, how, how, no matter how much you put your best foot forward, it's like you just can't get ahead. It's because you have a toxic-ass person that's binded to you. Spirit is saying it's time to recognize what's going on. It's, it's a call to action. Action. Your spirits are trying to get your attention with this judgment card with that. Look at these souls. Look at these people. I always tell y'all to look at the image. Look how they're in close proximity with each other. You are responsible to a degree for each other. What you know, sometimes you're just guilty because you know that they're guilty of things. So you have to really look at it from a very a broader perspective and a spiritual lens as well. So be very careful of the partners that you choose, Spirit is saying. Be careful of who you choose to ex do any type of physical and spiritual exchange with. Once again, it's something called spiritual attachments. Sometimes people, demons, can can leech on to us and start sucking. It's like a parasitic spiritual leech, you know. So be very, very careful with that. Um, Knight of Swords always talks about, you know, our mind, swift thinking, snap judgments. You know, some of us going to have to make come to this conclusion really fast. And you see that sword he has, you have to cut it off really fast. You have to really sit down and sort your thoughts out and handle some situations swiftly some of y'all have brought this into no, to your new year it's okay you know because it's not too late to cut it off tie those loose ends and cut out your losses that's all but spirit is saying the judgment is on you the karma is on you as well think about your character and your morals as well even in your relationships as well i don't want to make that just about the other person but about you too make sure that you are moving with good character and your good more morals in your relationships as well because sometimes you might be that toxic person for someone else so <laughs> this can block your blessings block your abundance everything you worked hard for don't let a toxic person take that away from you you got to get more spiritual too. Some of some of us ladies, women are the most spiritual beings there is. Women. We are sacred. We are divine. We are the best psychics, the best intuitives. Trust your intuition. Dig deep inside of yourself. Sit with yourself. Spirit is saying with this high priestess card. A lot of us we get lost. You know, we get lost. We get disconnected from our spirituality. The high priest is about the unknown, the unseen, what's not being said. You know, all those things. So definitely tap into your spirituality. Know what to cut off. Know what's worth keeping. That's very important. Do not let that, don't, do not let this block this. Because sometimes this can cut off our intuition, cut off our spirituality. And we're wondering... Why are, we, why are we losing everything? So that's the message for women. Toxic partners, be careful of them and make sure that you're not the toxic partner this year as well. Any At any time though. So let's look at the man. Mm. And then look, look what falls out. Burdens. Burden by way of other people's bullshit. Other people's baggage can become yours. Don't be no bag lady, Spirit says. Okay. So let's get into it with the man. So it's interesting. What is the message for the man in 2024? Yes, there's peace, prosperity, blessings on their behalf. So 
So, man, listen, listen up. I need you to pay attention to these messages. Mm. Okay, so guys, listen. You too do not miss your blessings. This card actually came out for my Patreon gang too, Four of Cups. This talks about, like I told them, missed opportunities. Miss y'all, man, y'all gonna have to really be on top of y'all a game this year. Don't miss out on your blessings because some people have that saying where you know if it's for me, it's meant what's meant for me is gonna come around. It, it'll come back. It's not gonna always come back twice. Some shit you gotta be prepared for. Some stuff you have to literally be ready for it. And I'm gonna have to tell y'all the truth. Some of y'all men need to check your emotions too. Some of y'all are not emotionally stable and i'm not here to tell a man how to be a man but i think it's fair to say that emotional intelligence is key to a progressive relationship to healthy relationships to sustain oneself in this world period you have to have your emotions in check your heart and your mind have to be on one accord so it's, it's some of us may some of uh, and with that being said queen of cups encourages you to be more spiritual as well so man tap into your spiritualism tap into your divine feminine as well because you have it too it's polarity everything is duality we all have masculine and feminine traits it has to be balanced so don't be afraid of that either mm -hmm. step into your spirituality let your spirit guide you and i love it because i am seeing more and more men become spiritual as well so i love that as well so this is a message for men don't miss your blessings y'all and get your emotions in check oh also too the message for you man too y'all gonna be doing some traveling a lot of y'all men are gonna notice that stuff is gonna start happening fast for you especially that once you start tapping into your spirituality it's gonna take you places it's going to divinely align you with opportunity so you too need to be ready because you can also miss them ace of wands reverse if you're not ready so tap into it go to your ancestors start planning things start planning your vacations vacations um not just vacations business trips too start planning those things early because a lot of y'all gonna be doing a lot of challenges traveling there will be some challenges there for you guys but once again once you ground yourself and you tap into your spirituality you guys should get you guys should start seeing a lot of major improvement very fast because remember the wands is really quick and fast energy in your life so that's the message for the man so let's look at the children. What is the warnings for the children? And then we'll get into politics, money. And then we're going to see what we got to do to bring the money in, y'all. And spiritual gifts and messages from our spirits. So show us energy surrounding our children. So pay attention, those who have children that, are, that you care for, whether it's biological or not, niece or nephew all the same okay you guys make sure that you spend more time with your children some of y'all make your kids feel like burdens in your life invest in them more and if this is hitting you this is for you invest in your children more spirit says start teaching your children how to survive in this world too teach them money teach them how to pay bills show them how to pump gas survival um survival things that they need skills that they need to know make sure that you guys uh oh somebody called the mama magical line make sure <laughs> that you guys are teaching them life skills because they can't be children forever once again show them how to pay bills they should know how to pump gas they should know how to take the garbage out make them adhere to chores spirit is saying make them earn things don't just give them what they want you are hindering them trust me it's not going to be cute for a long time for too long they're going to grow up and the last thing that you want is for your child to get into the real world and realize how much the world doesn't care about them you know so start preparing for them now i've started doing it with my children I want everybody to start doing it. And if you have not, if you have, great. This is just confirmation that you're on the right track. But Spirit says a lot of these kids are very occupied by the tablets, the computers, TVs. You know, you might have to take that out of their hands a little bit this year. Make them earn those privileges as well. And make sure that you put a time limit on that as well. You And when we're not raising our children, trust and believe someone is raising them. 
<laughs> so we're going to leave it at that. Invest in your children. Teach them how to be survivors. Okay, so where I want to go next is that I'm going to go to my divine gifts and messages deck. And shout out to you all that have continued to um, pre-order this deck. It is definitely still on the website, y'all. So let's see what spirit needs us to know as far as divine gifts and messages, um, spiritual gifts that you all can tap into. These spiritual gifts and um, suggestions and advice from your spirit guides and ancestors can um, also be implemented to with when it comes to your spiritual work as well. Premonition. Spirit said a lot of us going to be having premonitions this year. Some of us have the gift of premonition. Spirit is saying pay attention to your premonition. Pay attention to those messages. Don't think that, you know, especially if you're having deja vu. Know that. Pay attention. When you start feeling, when anytime you have a premonition, anytime you have deja vu, it's very important to figure out and to be very aware, rather, what's going on right now. At that very second, what's going on? Or what literally just happened? Did someone just say something? Look at the time on your watch. Pay attention to everything that's going on in that time. Trust me, there's a message there for you. Premonition says, in the realm where time's a haze, premonition's gift, a mystic gaze, foreseeing future in its gentle blaze. Pay attention, spirit says. Candle work. Some of y'all need to get on y'all candle work and learning candle, learning uh, color psychology, learning those herbs. You need to know how everything works, even on a scientific level, because if you can realize how these things work, you're going to up work. You're going to up your faith and your magic will work better. Candle work says, with faith in my heart, I light the candle's flame. In the silent meditation, I call upon its name. That's the spirit. In the realm of the spiritual, where intentions take their flight, candle work empowers my soul, shining through the night. Ashe. Channeling. This is going to help you channel better with your spirits, especially us mediums out there. Channeling. It says, in the sacred circle's gentle trance, I sway. A conduit for spirits, their words to convey. Through channeling, through their wisdom, I bring to light. Guiding souls on a journey day and night. Ashe. Spirit says we got blessings come through. Our ancestors, our spirit guides are going to bless us as long as we continue to cultivate with them. Whispers to spirits. My hopes take flight. And their loving presence all feels right. Come through. Blessings descend like stars in the night. Ashe. Come through spirit. I'm going to pull one more and that's it. Divination, y'all. Some of us need to get on our divination game, especially those who are um, investing themselves, learning the tarot, learning the playing cards, reading bones. Whatever you read, Spirit says, continue to grow and sharpen that gift. Look for a mentor if you can. Divination with crystal balls, mystic sight, so clear. Divination's gift, a path to steer. In visions and dreams, the future's near. Premonition and divination. It talks about the future being near. While well, I'm looking at the word future and then premonition, there's a message there as well. <clears throat> Psychic. In the realm of minds, a gift so rare. Psychic powers beyond compare. Sensing secrets, futures unknown. A psychic's insight like seeds sown. So this is telling us to be more spiritual. You you guys, some of, so many of us have these gifts laying dormant. Spirit is just reminding us and asking us to cultivate those gifts. And at the bottom of the deck, it talks about the inner divinity within us, the part of us that is connected to divine. We all have a special connected connection to the divine, and that's how these spiritual gifts work. It says, inward journey, seek the sacred shrine. You are the sacred shrine. Tap into your divinity. Let your light shine. Within your true self, a masterpiece so fine. Come through, Ashe. Everything you have, everything you need, you already have. You already possess that. Think about the magician in the tarot. He knows that he has 
everything within him. All he needs is his, his vision and his willpower, and he will make things happen. Stop doubting your spiritual gifts, y'all. Stop doubting your spiritual gifts. And like I said, what I like about this deck, I put a bunch of unique spiritual gifts in here too. So I really do like this deck. And this is the confirmation saying the spirits are talking to us. Beneath the, the veil of unseen spirits converse, whispering in rhyme that tells traverse a spectral language where mysteries immerse so spirit is saying they're speaking to us we just have to have an ear to hear it y'all so get more spiritual cultivate these gifts so let's look at love y'all that's what i want to take a look at i want to take a look at love our love lives what spirit has to say about love in our um intimate relationships for 2024 And then what I'll do before we conclude the reading, that's when I'll do the money bags reading. See what we need to do to bring the money in, y'all. Because this is the number eight year. Y'all already know. We need to take advantage of that prosperity and that abundance. Mm, this came up... <laughs> Not this exact card, but this came up in the Patreon read. Okay, divorce. A lot of us are going to find ourselves not no longer resonating with people in our lives. We're going to find ourselves uh, separating. And it doesn't all have to be bitter, you know. So please go with the flow with things, you know. Only you know exactly where you at with your relationship and with your spouse. So if you start to see you're, you're, you're starting to read, you're no longer resonating. You're not seeing eye to eye. Know that there's a blessing in anything that goes on in your life if you look hard enough, Spirit says. For anything that is taken away, it will be replaced. But you have to keep the faith. If you're a spiritualist, we have nothing but faith. I want you reverse missing you. So this says it's reverse. So this says, of course, it's okay to miss people, right? It's okay to reflect on the good times, but that doesn't mean that that's where you need to revert back to. A lot of us get caught up in the nostalgia. You know, you know, distance has a funny way of only allowing our brain to remember usually the good things, you know? So just make sure that you are not, don't allow people to double back on you this year. New year, new things, new phone number, who this? You know, point blank period, right? Attraction, mm, bisexual, interesting, messages. This is what I'm going to say about attraction and bisexual. Don't deny who you are. And this ain't for everybody. This is for some people, and you know who I'm talking to right now. It's okay to be you. It's okay to be you. As long as you genuinely love yourself and whoever you talk to loves you too, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. We ain't here to judge anybody, point blank, period. That's my message. That's the message for you. And some of us going to get some type of phone calls or messages from someone from the past. Don't go back. Doesn't mean that they're not a great person. But Spirit says this is, we've done that enough already, y'all. New year, new things. New phone, who this? I'm just saying, we're going to, that has to be the affirm. That has to be the affirmation as far as relationships. We only want new, 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 new. Out with the old and in with the new. That's what I'm going to say. And you know what? And I'm going to say this. Sometimes people do find love in the past. I'm not, you know, saying completely write that off. But this is for the people that know. I ain't finna try with, 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 with Jim no more. I, I, I'm i done with Brandon. You know, we, we've done it before. Somebody that keeps spinning the block with you, it's time to, it, no more spinning the block. Just keep straight. <laughs> Just keep straight. So that's what it is when it comes to love, y'all. Some of us are going to be, you know, ending long-term relationships. And that's okay. You know, that's just when you cling on to your spirits even more, y'all. So stop getting used up, abused up. You know, allow things to go. And I promise, anytime spirit removes somebody out your life, right, you're going to get somebody better. You're going to get somebody better. As long as your discernment is up and you've done the work to heal thyself. Let me make sure I put that caveat in there. As long as you have done the work, you have you are healing yourself, you know what you want, you are standing on your boundaries, you're strong, you are going to get what you need rather than what you want. Let me say that too. You know, sometimes we got to look outside of our type. <laughs> you know, because your type is what keeps putting you in the same, you know, positions. And then the last card is commit. So, those are who are in solid relationships 
and you know you love your person, make sure you're committing to them. Commit, lack of commitment is not always about cheating. Sometimes you just forget, you know, you just forget to prioritize your loved ones. So commit to your plans that you make to your loved ones too. If you say you're going to do something, don't make a, li uh, a liar um, out of yourself. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I did promise that we was going to look into um, politics. We know we've been having, I ain't going to dive too deep into that. But we know there's been wars going on, y'all, and, and a lot of unfortunate things. Let's just see the energy around um, the politics, war, those things that may not feel like it affects us, but it does. Politics and wars. Oh, look at all these. Oh, look at all these, y'all. Okay, so listen, I love that this, out of all of this, I'm glad that this Wheel of Fortune card did come up upright for us, y'all. I'm, I'm glad to see it. So what I would say for this immediately, what Spirit starts showing me is that don't think, well, like I just said before, don't think that all, all these things don't affect the average everyday person. Because if you look hard enough, if you pay attention to things, if you do your own due diligence and research, how does the war affect me? Even if it's just raising up gas a couple of cents or a couple of dollars, it's going to continue to affect us. But, but what Spirit, the major warning here is Spirit is saying, save your coins save your coins save your money and i know some of us have our feelings about banks so if you don't trust banks you need to be disciplined enough sweetie to put your money like how grandma and them used to do put their money in the shoe box or in the wall somewhere in the floor you have to make sure that you are investing in yourself we need to have emergency savings funds for at least they say a good emergency savings fund like a contingency plan you should be able to at least survive I want to be fair because I know it's hard. At least a year. You need to have at least a, a, a year's worth of money. At least put up that. If your job fired you, if the whole world went upside down, you have at least enough money to sustain yourself. Now, you might start getting uncomfortable around year, I mean, month five or six, but you at least have enough saved up. So make that a goal, y'all. Make it a goal to save up an emergency fund. I say at least I would say at least six months. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say a year, but I'm gonna also say at least have six months money worth of money savings funds saved up for your family. You need to be able to access that. Say if the banks even shut down, you know, if you want to once again, if you want to put it up somewhere, that's fine too. But spirit is saying, save your coins. No more spending on things that just and no impulsive spending on things that you do not need. You need to commit to saving your money. I don't care. Nothing is better than something is better than nothing. Even if it's if you can spare twenty dollars out of your paycheck every month, twenty five dollars every time you get paid, at least have something. Spirit is really really pressing that. A lot of things are going to be revealed to us this year too. We know the news like to only tell us things, tell us what they want us to know, and we we're kind of like you know, just in the dark about things. But some more things are going to be revealed within itself. Things are going to change. Wheel of Fortune talks about change. So there will be major changes this year that will affect us. Even if it's even the even if it's on a small scale, you know. So everything's like the law of vibration almost. So you guys save your money because we're gonna anytime we see this seven of cups reverse, it talks about the smoke clearing. The rose colored glasses are off, right? We're able to see exactly things for what they are. Some the uh, the government may offer you guys something this year that sounds good, but then realize you pay for it later. Almost like when we got the stimulus package, it felt good as hell to get that money at the time, but they was taking that <laughs> out of our returns, our tax returns. So just be careful of that. Be just know, do your own due diligence. The government is for self. So you have to make sure that you are reading between the fine lines with these things. They may offer us something that sounds real good, but in due time, just like the Wheel of Fortune, things must go what 
what um, goes up must come down. We might we we might realize that damn it wasn't really as good as we thought it was going to be. And as far as the wars and things like that, mm, we're gonna see how that plays out. I don't. Let's see. Let's look at the war. Is this going to continue on for too much longer? As of now, spirit, because we know tarot picks up on best of the present energy of things. And this war is going to continue. To go on. So what's the energy? Mm, there it goes again. Hmm. Yeah, this war is going to continue to go on. It's according to the cards and what's speaking right now. Not anytime soon will this end, unfortunately. But eventually, it will change, Wheel of Fortune. But not right now. Not 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 at this time. I would say it looks like this war. You know, because it's more deeper. It, it's so much, these things are so intricate. It's so many layers to these type of things. It's not just a one thing fix all. It's a lot of shit that's going to have to take place. A lot of agreements that's going to happen for this to dissipate um, eventually. But it doesn't look like they have any kind of plan right now. Look at that world. Think about the world that's going on. They've been talking about World World, world 3 and all that. They don't have a plan, two of wands to stop this at any time soon anytime soon rather so we just gonna pray especially for them baby strength reverse we're gonna have to pray for the the mother and the children over there and of course the fathers because they really need all of their our good energy y'all unfortunately it just looks like two of wands i mean I, I can see if i saw the two of wands upright but i just don't like how it was reversed so but once again things can change the will of fortune reminds us of that be careful. You know what? That's what I said I want to look at. Health. Show us the energy around health. Because we know what the pandemic did, y'all. So let's just see. What's the energy around our health this year? The health of uh, community health. Mm. Mystery illnesses. Mm, mental health. The water. Oh, I knew it. Look at this water. Be careful of the water, y'all. Because the water which sustains life is being poisoned. There are going to be some mystery illnesses in the water that might mess up one's brain. The function of one's brain. Um, things that the doctors are, they may not be able to pinpoint exactly what it is it could be something parasitic it's almost like that brain eating disease that some of the people have been getting when they go swimming in those lakes it's kind of that's what spirit is showing me so be careful of swimming in still water y'all because that's still very real i cannot i remember they were saying something about that not too long ago but really be careful y'all of the bacteria levels in the water so we're gonna say that because that's all I see for right now. Okay, y'all. So let's, before we conclude this yearly reading, y'all, let's see how we can get to the money. <laughs> Shout out, y'all. Y'all really been supporting, y'all. Y'all have really been making sure that y'all getting on top of ordering these, um, the two new decks, money bags, and divine gifts and messages. They are still on pre-sale, y'all. So make sure that you guys get over there if you would like one. And I'm and my goal is to ship these out for those who have already ordered. I want to ship them out between um, mid-month and um, late January. But definitely before February, they will be shipped out. So y'all, make sure y'all get y'all's because... Um, I'm going to have that many of them in the beginning. So let's see, y'all. Let's see how we can get to the money. Let's see how we can take advantage of this number eight energy, this number eight year. Y'all prosperity work, all that, y'all. We need to see how we can get to the money. <laughs> we ask for blessings. Okay, so the first card is credit. A positive credit history makes it easier to qualify for loans, credit cards, and other forms of credit. 
Credit management is key to reaping the benefits of credit without falling into debt. Y'all check your credit reports. When the last time have you checked your credit report? Some of us are, you know, having negative credit reports because people have done identity theft. So make sure you get your annual report. Today is a good time to get, you get, I think, two free annual reports. Check your credit report, y'all. Start, start trying to eliminate debt. Yes, Spirit is saying yes, 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 yes. So a lot of us are being hindered <laughs> by our credit, by our credit, y'all. So yes, Spirit is saying definitely do this. This is confirmation. So check your credit. Start off good this year. Know what's going out. Mm, we got a yes and a no. That's interesting. A yes and a no. That's interesting. Let me see what else come out. Okay, we got the hustle card too. So what I want to do is say with this yes and no, just like when you get yes or no on my other decks, it's always a, it's always usually like a maybe energy or some sort of funny energy there. So yes and no to me, that's shifty type of energy. So some of us definitely needs to we we need to check our credit. Some of us are once again our victims of identity theft and we don't even know it, y'all. I don't know. One year I pulled my credit, my annual credit report child it was shit on there that i know damn well <laughs> i do damn well i did not do that so y'all check your credit spirit is saying it's hustle it's hustle time y'all it's hustle season it's time to get on the grind slow feet don't eat your feet will only take you as far as you're willing to go time to get in hustle mode y'all do the work spirit says take tangible actions rather than merely planning or thinking about a task move beyond intention and actually start the process of getting things done y'all so that means you can have a goal but what's the plan to reach the goal a lot of us fail to reach our goals because we just don't have a plan and it's just as simple as that. We can have all these dreams and aspirations, but how are you going to make those things happen? How are you going to accomplish these things? Mm, what's this? Okay. These two cards flipped out. So customer service, some of us might have to consider the options of customer service. So this is for, particularly for certain people. So if you see this, you know this is for you. Um, it says also discipline. Some of us are lacking discipline, and that's the reason why we're not wealthy and prosperous. Estab I just said set a plan. Come through spirit. Establish routines, setting priorities, and staying committed to the task at hand. Note to self, do not quit. Stay the course, even when faced with challenges or distractions. Y'all have to stay on the grind. You have to stay tunnel vision in this hustle do not get sidetracked by things trying to go out trying to live by your means always thinking that you have to buy another outfit it, always thinking you got to get the iphone as soon as it come out things like that is what's taking away from your health with your wealth and it's not healthy late nights early mornings success takes dedications and commitment are you willing to do what it takes this is another note to self late night early mornings the early bird gets the worm your worth ethic you need to check your work ethic this year spirit says individuals with a strong worth ethic are dependable and consistent you have to have you have to um have possess qualities of diligence and discipline are you reliable and committed to this these things are um these things these qualities is what produce high results spirit says high quality results you got to take action seize the moment this is not the year of procrastinating when it comes to your finances don't be impulsive but things that you know opportunities there don't miss them because you're not prepared spirit says we're going to have opportunities but they will be missed if we are not ready the car says seize the moment this opportunity might not come around twice take action the time is now and i spoke on this earlier y'all everything everything that's meant for you not going to spend the block twice come through spirit some of y'all got the job this card says hire so if you just apply for a job spirit says hire you got the job the job is yours congratulations and at the bottom of the deck to conclude the reading money magic Consider a little prosperity to add a little pizzazz. <laughs> it says, excuse me, consider a little prosperity work to add a little pizzazz, a little money magic to make it happen. So Spirit says, start getting, y'all want this money. Y'all know what to do. Do them prosperity baths, do your prosperity work. 
do your prosperity candle work. Remember, candle work came out. You have to tie all of this together. Do a prosperity candle if you're into that. Do a money jar. I'm going to start doing community prosperity rituals, and I will let you guys know um, when I'm doing it so you can participate. So, yeah, y'all, this is what Spirit's saying. We got to hustle. We have to get on the grind. Be prepared. Be a person that is on schedule. Check your work ethic and make sure you check your get your credit and your report now, y'all see what's on there if you have to <laughs> if you have to you know write the credit bureaus all that handle that now at the top of the year do not per um do not procrastinate on that is what spirit is saying y'all last card mentorship consider a mentor for guidance being a novice sets the foundation for success so don't have too much pride when you think that you cannot be schooled by someone else so i love you guys this concludes the 2024 reading we are going to take advantage of this number eight year we're going to get close to our spirits we're going to work ran we're going to work hand in hand with our spirits because we know practicality is works hand in hand with um spirituality as well y'all so i love you guys thank you so much for all your love and support once again shout out to those who took their time to tell mama magical happy new years that really touched me i love you all peace and blessings ashe oh one more thing y'all it's not too late to get your personal um your personal yearly readings as well you can definitely um hit me up um, on um, those if you would like to do that get your personal reading or your um, four, six month forecast reading I still have those available and it's the perfect time to get those done so you can get your personal messages and prescriptions from your spirit so peace and blessings guys be safe out there